What we're looking at here is a superbly camouflaged grasshopper named the Least Desert Grasshopper or Xeracris minimus. And it's very small. It's not like the other, you know, near locust sized grasshoppers that I've showed you in videos past. And here's a close up of it. So it's an extremely windy environment here, but check out the rocks next to it. You know, this is just amazing camouflage. They were very, very hard to spot at first, but once your eyes are fixated on them, basically you won't let go and they can't fool a human. I'm kind of imbalanced here doing a very low squat, so pardon all the shaking. And if you listen in the background, you can hear a rhythmic chirping. I'm pretty sure that was caused by all these grasshoppers throughout the hills and mountains. So in this example, you know, I'm just trying to do what I always do, which is to get really close and to see if I can touch their backs. But, you know, you can already see this least desert grasshopper getting nervous. So he or she has just flung themselves away with reckless abandon, like they always do. They have very powerful hind legs. So here's some more footage, you know, it's just really hard to see these guys. and. What was surprising is I can't really find anything about those grasshoppers online. You know, normally every species I look at is really well documented. I checked several very well reputable, you know, insect identification sites and I couldn't find anything at all except for some, you know, local photographer enthusiast photos. So there were no videos in a search on YouTube for the Latin name or the scientific name. And I suppose I'll be the first one to post a video of Xeracris minimus, or the least desert grasshopper. So here I'm just showing you some scenery footage of the environment I found this grasshopper in. This is, again, in the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. It's very close to Borrego Springs. Um, there's no foliage on the Acatillo branches that I saw. And, you know, I don't think they feed necessarily on these slow-growing cacti. I didn't see lots of evidence of, you know, these succulents or um, agave-type plants being uh, devoured. I think they probably feed on creosote leaves. Uh, there was another species, I think in Arizona, that I saw online that feeds on creosote, and that's probably a good choice because creosote is a much bigger shrub and much faster growing, and it has foliage year-round. So I think that's probably what it eats here. This is close-up footage of a creosote bush. So some of the leaves have been eaten. And here in the upper right, uh, the center here, you know, we'll pan back to those two leaves. Yeah, those have been eaten. I think that's the work of the least desert grasshopper. I heard that rhythmic chirping a lot near creosote bushes. But there were also lots of little brittle bushes on the ground, and those could be potential food targets.